Hey everyone, it is Bridget here from Bridget's Kitchen wishing you a very wonderful Tuesday. If it is Tuesday in your part of the world, it is definitely Tuesday in my part of the world. And Tuesday means that something was released at the start of the week. So we're one day in and it is the most gorgeous, gorgeous article. Check this out guys, showing you now. Right, if you're in Australia, the current edition of the Woman's Day and yes, it's some, for some people, they got it delivered yesterday, but um, for us here in Sydney, I just picked this up this morning. Woman's Day, it's got a picture of Howie, Howie, <laughs> as in Harry, you know, Megan's missing for 48 hours. So the front cover, you'll see Harry, there's Megan Markle and a baby. My gosh, I can't believe that Posh and Bex are still on the front cover of the magazine, but there you go, that's what happens, right? Don't worry about that, because the most important thing in the magazine is when you turn to page 40, to, oh sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm revealing, you turn to page 38 of the magazine, and yes I know it's backwards, you see that? That's me. <laughs> That's me too. So in this magazine, the title of the story is, we lost 153 kilos with zero exercise. So the mag magazine article, and I feel incredibly blessed, incredibly, incredibly blessed. I was contacted by the Woman's Day magazine um, a little while back, and they said to me, look, you know, we've, we, we've heard your story, and we know that you've done really, really well. You've lost 30 kilos in five and a half months um, eating your food. But do other people eat your food? Like, do other people have the same types of successes that you have? Oh, Carol, sorry, just to interrupt. Carl's back in Rarotonga. You're back home in sunny Rarotonga. Thank you for joining us, Carl. So yeah, the Women's Day, they, they, they um, contacted me and said, look, you know, what you're doing is amazing, but we want to talk to people who also follow your recipes. So we want to contact people who have had similar successes to you by eating your food and following your lifestyle. And because you know, guys, this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle. So can you like introduce us to some of the people that have potentially, you know, had success like you? So um, I, I was able to contact some people, people I've, some couple of people I've never met before in my life, but who have been big fans of what we do here on Bridget's Kitchen, what we do on our private page, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen Family. If you're not a member of our private page, you should join up right now. That's where the support network is. And so I contacted people I've never met before in my life and said, look, you've been sharing how much you're enjoying my recipes. I would love it if you could maybe come to Sydney and we'll do a photo shoot with a woman's day. So five of the most amazing ladies turned up. There they are there. Five of the most amazing ladies turned up. Right here, we have the beautiful Marisa. Marisa, who's currently in Texas. Stop looking at that cowboys, Marisa. She's currently in Texas. <laughs> Hanging out with cowboys. Um, Marisa is um, based here in Sydney. Then right next to her, look at that gorgeous girl. There she is there. With the, oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful gorgeous girl there. That is Kathy. Kathy is also Sydney based as well. Kathy is the most wonderful, wonderful person you could ever, ever meet. And she's such an amazing, she's an inspiration to me, Kathy, on what she has achieved in her life. Look at her before and afters. That's Kathy. That's Marisa, who's in Texas. Do you see Marisa down there? And look at Marisa now, gorgeous, hot, hot mama. Look at her, amazing. So I met, I met Marisa, and then I met Kathy. That's me there in the middle. And then this flower over there in the orange is the beautiful and the stunning Carolee, who I met last year when I started my journey. There she is, Carolee before, Carolee after. Look at how gorgeous that girl is. Look at her, 25 kilos down, yeah? 25 kilos down. So I met the most beautiful woman, Carolee, about a year ago, and now this this is my sister. This is this is my sister. Like we just we just get each other and you know we're on this journey together, which has just been the most amazing process for the two of us. And we've traveled the world together now. And here she is in this magazine alongside all these beautiful women that I've that I've been so honored to meet. So that's Carolee there. And then next to her is the most spectacular lady, the most spectacular gorgeous girl, gorgeous girl Tracy, who lives in rural New South Wales. She has a chicken farm, by the way. She is a farmer. And she also loves doing, she's, she does best of show dog shows as well. So she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Never met her before in my life. But she was coming to me and she was saying to me, I'm having all this success 
with your recipes and I love your food and I cook it and my husband loves your food and we're just enjoying life with your food and look wait till you see this there's our gorgeous Tracy look I'm gonna I'm gonna make this thing smaller oh, oh no no I can't right that's Tracy before that's Tracy now look at that stunning stunning woman first time I'd ever met her she's been a big fan of Bridget's Kitchen for such a long time and um, to meet her in person was spectacular absolutely spectacular and then the last person here on our on our picture see that lady there her name's Kate never met her before in my life as well came all the way from Dunedin in New Zealand to join us for the photo shoot look how much fun we're having in fact we've got lots more photos of how much fun we were having that day it was spectacular and Kate my god look at this honey right there Look at Kate's before, look at Kate now, 30 kilos down. So in, com in combination, us ladies there, we have lost 153 kilos using healthy food. So isn't that amazing? And the, woman days, the woman's day know how amazing that is. So this magazine, please go out and get it. Please go out and get it and take a photo and share. If you know one of these beautiful ladies that were in the photos, please share it because this is not about me. This is about you guys. This is about what we're doing. This is about the lifestyle that we are creating for ourselves. And this is about sustainability. This is not a diet. I really want to make that really, 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 really clear. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle. This is what we're doing for life. So when I get finally to meet these amazing women in person, these women who send me beautiful private messages about how much they love my food and they're feeding it to their kids and they're feeding it to their husbands or that how much success they've personally had is everything. This is why I do it. So um, thank you to the Women's Day. As I said, the magazine's out today. If you want to go and grab it and read our stories because everyone has a story and everyone who's watching this right now, we all have a story. We all have a story to share. And I am so incredibly, I cannot state this enough, incredibly blessed that these women wanted to share their story and, and I'm part of that journey. And it's, it's very, very special. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's very, very special because we are all in this together. So remember, the main thing is, right, you have a support network at your fingertips. A support network doesn't cost you anything. You just need to come over come over to Bridget's Healthy Kitchen family. That is the group. You just need to, it's a private group. We are all there to support each other. There's no nasty. If there's even a slight bit of nasty, you know my, hey, my husband, he's gonna kick them out of there straight away. It is for supporting everyone. So please come and join our group. If you're not currently a member of our group, make sure you join our group. Stay here on Bridget's Kitchen too, because this is where you're gonna get the live videos and this is where you're gonna get the recipes. All those recipes that I've created and I've created hundreds hundreds because guess what guys I'm nearly two years in to my healthy journey and I continue my body continues to change it's getting better and I'm getting older but my body's getting better how is that possible right so you know I'm nearly two years into this journey and so now for me it's about not just teaching people how to start because I started at nearly 95 kilos and I've lost 30 kilos I started at a good weight good weight and it was a fight to get me down to the weight that I'm at now but now I've maintained it for such a long period of time. How do you maintain it? How do you keep being healthy? And this is the lifestyle that we're talking about. So aloha to anyone who's joining us now. And thank you, thank you, thank you. The bottom of my absolute heart to the beautiful woman that shared their story about me being part of their story and about Bridget's Kitchen, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen being part of the story. So um, the book that, that we've all been talking about in this magazine is this one, my first healthy cookbook, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. If you want a copy, you can totally get it. All you need to go to, it to is bridgetscookbook.com and get this. This is my first book. It'll get delivered to you in a week. It's already there waiting for delivery. You can have it. It's all yours. So um, yeah, emotional, exciting, awesome, 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 awesome day today to see this and to see how beautiful my gorgeous 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 friends look in this magazine um please go out and get yourself a copy and um because it's worth a read it's totally worth a read totally worth a read but anyway let's get into the recipe because today what i thought i would do is something easy 
something simple because I want to show you how easy and simple it is to eat good for life. Remember, this is not about just eating good for a certain amount of time and then we go back to our old ways because you know what happens when we go back to our old ways? The weight comes back on. And not only does the weight come back on that we lost, but we, and we usually put on more weight. So this is about maintaining it for life. So what I'm giving you guys is solutions for life. So when you're feeling like, you know, and I've had someone contact me yesterday and she says to me, look, I'm a real sweet tooth. I've, I, I get sugar cravings. I'm like, fine, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Because I can give you sweet options that have no sugar and they have no gluten and they have no dairy. So you can still be eating good for your body, but at the same time, you're satisfying that sweet tooth. So this is kind of one of those desserts today. Kind of one of those desserts. And no, it is not in this book. This is brand new. Not in this book. And um, but doesn't matter because this is where you start. This is the gut reset, right? And it's not currently in this book either, which is the second book, which is going to be hopefully delivered to the people who have pre-purchased it in the next couple of weeks maximum. So that's really exciting. Um, but it is available to you guys right here on the video right now. So I call it hot lava, hot lava, because you know, aloha Hawaii. <laughs> They just have the most amazing, you know, volcanoes erupting at all manner of the day and time. Um, if anyone's ever been to the Big Island in Hawaii, going and seeing the, the volcano erupting in front of your eyes, is, it's pretty phenomenal, I must say. But um, just be really careful because lava is hot and that's what we're creating today, hot lava. So come on down, come on down to my bench. Let's make some hot lava. Really, really simple recipes. I was saying the simplest dessert you could ever make. So what I have in my pot here, I have a mixture of frozen berries. You may be wondering, but ha, she's living in Australia. There's an abundance of fresh berries at the moment. There's a reason why I'm using frozen. And you can choose the berries that you prefer. So you can get like frozen, there's raspberries in there. I've also got some blackberries. I've got a few cherries, would you believe? And I have some blueberries. Or you could get one of those bags that's actually just a mix of berries at the same time. I'm gonna turn on, if it'll allow me, there we go, my noisy machine and just get those berries heating a little bit. Now, what you may have noticed, that I haven't added any sugar into these berries. So, normally, you know what people do, what people do, is when they're making something like berries, you know, in a little pot, making a little berry sauce, or a coolie, as we call it in, uh, in the kitchens, they will add a whole heap of sugar to this. We don't need to do that, because there is enough sweetness in those berries. There really, really is. We're not going to add any brown sugar or maple syrup or honey to these berries. And what I'm going to be doing is just bringing those berries to the first boil. I don't want to boil them rapidly because I want the berry to maintain its um, structure because it's nicer to eat rather than having just mush in your mouth. So I'm going to be maintaining the structure of the berries. So all I'm actually doing, and I'll show you, oh, come over here. Wow, look at that. Here we go. Come over here. All right. So. Oh, you're in my pot now. How exciting is that? So all I'm doing is bringing the berries to a first bubble. And this is such a really cool little trick for you guys, and it's actually a really important lesson, is that the reason I'm using frozen berries instead of fresh berries, and by the way, I do have fresh berries as well, but the reason I'm using frozen berries is because I'm really interested in the liquid that is going to naturally come out of these berries. Remember, there's only berries in here now. There is no sugar and I've definitely added no water or liquid. I'm just allowing the berries, give them a little bit of a toss, like that, bit of a toss. I'm just allowing the berries to defrost or melt, heat up, remember this is called hot lava, heat up a little bit, and as they're doing that, what is happening is the berries are releasing liquid. And that is such a vital part of this, of this recipe, is the liquid that is coming, currently coming out of those berries. I'm going to give it a little bit of a bit of a stir, just with a little spoon, just to break up any large lumps of uh, frozen berries you may have. So these are, these are the blackberries. Oh my gosh, I remember picking these as a kid on the side of the road when we used to, when we used to holiday uh, in the far north of New Zealand. The blackberry brambles were everywhere. And us kids would go for a, w a walk along the dirt road. And by the time we got back to wherever we are staying, whatever auntie's house we were staying with, our mouths were completely covered in, like, we were just black. Our fingers were black from eating all the fresh blackberries that we found on the side of the road. It was just amazing. 
So even after just you know, a couple of minutes on medium to high, you'll see that the blackberries are, or the blue, sorry, the berries are already looking pretty good. But what we have under here is the really important part is we now have this liquid, this natural liquid that has come out of the berries. And that is what we need to really make this dessert sing. And I've done nothing to it apart from put it in a pot. That's all I've done. I've done nothing to it. And I'm being gentle when I'm stirring because I don't want to break the berries up. Remember, I want to keep the, the structure intact and keep it, I don't want to compromise the structure. Because I don't want to have mush. I want to know that when I'm picking up a blueberry to eat it, I'm eating a blueberry. Or I'm eating a, ras a blackberry or I'm eating a raspberry. And the best way to do that is just by very gently cooking your berries. And even after this very short amount of time, turn that noisy thing off, very, very short amount of time, let me show you the liquid that we've got coming out of it. Look at that. That's all you need to do. A couple of minutes with your frozen berries in a pot and you get all that liquid, which is going to be so, so incredibly important for the next stage of this dessert. So, I'm going to bring you back over here. Actually, I'm going to bring you back over here. I'm going to bring you back over here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So our berries are done. I've turned it off. That's all we need to do. At this point in time, you could literally put this into a container, plastic container, put a lid on it, keep that in the fridge. Anytime you feel a need to have some, some berries, they're there for you. And it's literally, the, it's a dessert in itself, just like that. But we're going to take it, like I said, one step further. So take up your vessel. So what you would like to serve your, your hot lava in today. I'm going to be serving in this really cool little kind of old-fashioned glass with a handle, which is kind of cool. You can serve it in a bowl. You don't have to be as silly as I'm doing. It's completely up to you. I also have here some unsweetened coconut yogurt. Really important. When you purchase your coconut yogurt from the supermarket, make sure to read the ingredients list because some coconut yogurts are not like other coconut yogurts and they've got sugar in them and they've got um, maltose and dectrose and all sorts of stuff that basically you don't want. Whereas this thing, this um, particular brand of coconut yogurt, I'm going to show you. Oh, I've said it too much. I'm going to have to show you. Got it from Coles. <laughs> Got it from Coles. It, the ingredients are coconut milk, water, coconut cream, and tapioca starch live cultures. That's all that's in there. Tapioca starch is from the cassava root. It just helps to be a bit of a thickener. There is no sugar, there is no preservatives, there's nothing in there but basically coconut and a little bit of tapioca starch. And then the live cultures, which are really good for us as well. So that's a really, that's actually a really, really, really decent coconut yogurt from Coles and a really good price too. So if you're, if you're in Australia and you're near a Coles, it's a good place to buy it. There is also a really good option at Aldi as well. Look at that, fantastic, right? So we're going to start to create our hot lava. And what we need to do is we need to start to layer it as ceremoniously as we can. Look at this berries. Even if you just didn't want to do the coconut yogurt, you could literally just have a bowl of berries or a jar of berries, just like that. You could then take my friend, my friend, inulin powder, which we all know is a prebiotic, it's a dietary fiber. It is not sugar in any way, shape, or form, but it does have a bit of a sweetness to it. So it's going to help to just get rid of that tartness. And you could literally just do this. You could take your berries, you could sprinkle over just a teaspoon of the inulin powder, and you know what? That would be in itself, well, a few more berries than that, absolutely perfect. That's all you would need. You don't need anything else. You do not need anything else. Uh, Michelle is saying, I missed the beginning. Is that just berries or did you just add something else? No, Michelle. These are just frozen berries. That's all that was. And I just brought them to, the, brought them to a little simmer. That's just, there's nothing else in there but frozen berries. And even after this time, let me show you, Michelle, the type of liquid that we're getting out of that. Can you see that? So much liquid in those frozen berries that's come out of those berries already. So we've got our berries. Remember, this is hot lava, so you want to work while the berries are hot. And I do find that this combination of cold yogurt, coconut yogurt, because of course we want to be dairy free, this combination of cold yogurt and hot berries is so wonderful on the palate. Because it's almost like this little trick of like, is it warm? Is it cold? I'm not really sure at this stage, but I like it. 
So that's why I call it hot lava because you get that amazing sensation of cold yogurt on the, on the, on the tongue and then you get hot berries as well. And remember, these berries are so good for us. They're high in fiber. They're extremely low in calories as well. So that's why you'll find that I do lots of recipes with berries because they're just so good for us. And you know what? They taste awesome as well. And then we just keep on layering. So I'm going to add some more of the coconut yogurt. More of that. Goes in there. And you can already see we're getting this wonderful color. It's almost like a trifle but it's with berries and yogurt. And this is just, this is just so awesome. I'm going to the gym next, so I can't eat this right now. I'm gonna save it for after. And yes, I'm going to the gym. It is day number two of me going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in two and a half years. So things are hurting on my body, like here. I didn't know I had muscles there, but they're kind of sore. <laughs> they're kind of like telling me that I did something yesterday and I'm gonna go do something today as well. So yes, I'm off to the gym. So this is gonna be uh, lunch when I get back. So now that we've got to this part, and look at these gorgeous layers we have there in our hot lava bowl, or sorry, bowl, not even bowl, it's a glass. Give it a little bit of a clean. Presentation is everything. Remember, we eat with our eyes. We eat with our eyes. Then I'm just gonna take a bit, just a topping of that inulin is gonna go in. A little bit of a sprinkle. So now we've got two teaspoons of inulin in here. So that's really good fiber content and it's a prebiotic as well. And there's that tiny, gorgeous little bit of sweetness in there. Now if you want, and this is just completely if you want to, you could also grab yourself some fresh berries and use it as the garnish on top of this amazing, simple and very delicious and effective dessert. So we're just gonna add some blueberries on top. Just, and once again, it's textural as well, you know, because obviously the, 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 the hot berries are gonna be quite soft in texture. And then you've got this amazing firmness from the fresh berries, the raw berries. So they're just gonna just add a little extra dimension to this dish. And that's what kind of cooking's all about. Coco, can you go grab me some mint? Coco, Coco, she's got her headphones on, she can't see me. Hey, could you grab me some mint, please? <laughs> just it's out there, just on the on the on the table outside. Thank you. I'd like to finish it with a little bit of mint as well. Coco's in front of me, but she's got her headphones on, so she's in the middle of study mode. So I shouldn't really be disturbing her. She's studying for her first exam on Thursday. On Thursday, her first year twelve exam. All right. So we've got our strawberries on there. And literally, this is garnish and texture, garnish and texture. I'm gonna finish it with just a little topping. Thank you very much, my hazel bought me some mint. Just a little topping of the coconut yogurt. One more half teaspoon. There's two and a half teaspoons of our inulin in there as well. I'm gonna ice around the edges too, because that's gonna look very cool. And then, thank you, Mahi. He's bought me gorgeous little bits of mint that can just sit on there, just like that. I'm gonna put more on because actually he picks them really nice on. He picked the tip of the mint, so you get this really, really nice angle as well. Put the mint on. Grab yourself up your favorite spoon. I'm not sure which one to use yet. If anyone knows absinthe, that's an absinthe spoon for the, the absinthe drink. We may not use that one. We're gonna use maybe just a long teaspoon. Let's pop it down the side there. And there you have it. The honestly, the quickest, the easiest, that's a huge dessert. That's for two people. You need two spoons, that's huge. The easiest and, qu and quickest dessert, someone's just asked, can you put chopped nuts on it? Yes, you can. Imagine a few little chopped almonds just on the top there for a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture. You could do chocolate chips in there. You could put cinnamon powder. The choice is yours, completely yours, on what you decide to add on to this. This is the base. You guys make it whatever you need to make it. Vanilla essence is actually really nice. A little bit of vanilla essence in here, or vanilla extract, which is um, the pure vanilla, into your berries as they're cooking, because vanilla and berries are like a match made in heaven. You can totally do that. So there you go. This is hot lava, <laughs> named after um, our love of the Hawaiian Islands, but also our love of eating really, really healthy and looking after our bodies and still being able to satisfy our cravings. Because that's what it's about. Remember, this is not a diet. This is not something you do for, you know, two months and then you go back to, you know, eating your old ways. Because when we go back, we literally think about the words, we go back. 
the weight will come back on. That's the, that's the part that we need to really start to work out when it comes to eating well. This is a lifestyle choice. So we're able to make better decisions when it comes to dessert rather than having a chocolate cake full of, you know, sugar, sugared chocolate and gluten and lots and lots of butter and lots and lots of oil and of course lots and lots of sugar. We can choose something like this, which is a prebiotic, good for your gut. This is going to keep you feeling fuller longer because it's not empty calories. Your body's going to be able to take all the nutrients out of those amazing berries that we've just had there. It's going to take all the goodness out of the coconut yogurt. And remember, coconut yogurt is a good fat. These are things that are going to help to keep us feeling full so we don't, you know, after an hour we start looking for something else to eat. This is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. And I'm so glad you're on this journey with me because we're doing it together and I'm enjoying it so much. That's why I keep on creating recipes for us because it's all about making food that works. We get it, right? We get it. We get it. So we don't feel that once we've done all the hard work in losing weight and getting healthy, that we're going to go back to our old ways. No way. These ways are better. They're more delicious. They're easier. In a lot of cases, they're cheaper as well. But they will keep you feeling awesome. alive for the rest of your life. So there you go, guys. Um, what did you say, Mahi? They're faster. They're faster as well. Mahi just said the, the recipes are faster. They, they're really easy to do. You see how fast that was? Dessert's done. Ready to go. Yeah, bring it on. All right, so Woman's Day out now. Our story's in it. So exciting. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm off to the gym. <laughs> Wish me luck. Wish me luck. All right, guys, have a fantastic day today. We'll talk to you soon. Actually, we'll probably talk to you tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.